Hey guys, how's it going? Eminem Gaming here, and today we're back with another video. Um, yeah, today we're going to be talking about two very strong rumours, one maybe possibly stronger than the other, um, but yeah, we're going to get into it. The first article we're going to read off, I'm just going to read through it, give you my opinions, guys, what I think afterwards, but yeah, let's get into it. And the title's called, uh, There May Be a Knack Sequel in Production for PS4. Well then, this is a story that we never ever expected to write. Knack may be getting a sequel. An Eagle Eye member at NeoGAF spotted reference to an unexpected follow-up on the resume of Taiwanese animator named Mindy Lang. Apparently, she worked on the cutscenes for the unannounced PlayStation 4 title back in May 2015. The company that she works for, Apex Entertainment, has worked as a support studio on various games and contributing to Final Fantasy XV. It is also made the cutesy puzzle platformer Do Not Fall for the PlayStation 3. So a Knack sequel is in development then. Well, unless Lang is an extremely mistake is entirely mistaken about the project that she's worked on, extremely unlikely, then yes, it looks like a new entry is indeed happening. Our understanding is that the original sold reasonably well, but it's been the butt of many a joke since the launch of the PS4. To be perfectly honest with you, we're so flabbergasted that we don't really know what to say we'll contact sony and ask for a comment but not expecting a response what a bizarre turn of events eh um just as i get into the do, 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 do diddly d uh, here we go um the other article right we're going to talk about this now guys because you know me i can't leave it two minutes i've got to go on 20 <laughs> um knack First game I got for the PS4, I've got to be honest with you guys, during a lot large part of the PS3 generation, yeah, I was very casual, I, I kind of only played FIFA, if I'm going to be honest with you, uh, a lot of that was down to monetary constraints, being at school and all that sort of stuff, um, so yeah, when I finally scrimped and saved and got myself a nice shiny PS4, uh, 500 gigabytes back in 2013, 14, I can't remember when it was, the first game I got the choice of Killzone, which I've obviously got now, or Knack. And I chose Knack. Why did I choose Knack? Well, I chose Knack because it reminded me, sort of, kind of, not really, of Crash Bandicoot. And Crash Bandicoot is one of my favourite franchises ever. Just ever. Do you know what I mean? Ever made. Um, it's kind of up there with um, The Last of Us and... Um, Shadow of the Colossus and all that sort of stuff. So great games, do you know what I mean, guys? Um, Knack, it was good for a lot of casual gamers. Um, even though, actually, I played it on easy. I've got to admit it here, guys. I don't lie to you. I played it on easy when I played it, and some of the bits were a bit difficult. I've heard from some reliable sources that it is actually pretty difficult on hard. Um, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's... Crushing on Uncharted, Difficult, uh, Survivor, Brutal or whatever on Last of Us. Uh, or if it's just meh, a bit bit difficult. Um, I'm not too sure. I'll have to go play through that again before Nat comes out. So yeah, I really enjoyed the game, guys. And I'm glad it's getting a sequel. Um, I think it's smart to do. I think it sold really well. Uh, they're saying reasonably well. I'll, I'll, I'll challenge you with that on Push Square. They sold 2 million cons uh, copies, I think of the game at least 1.5 and this was a launch game so hats off to them i think um there's a lot of jokes on the U on youtube about it but uh everyone wants a crash bandicoot and this is god don't get me wrong guys this is not a crash bandicoot game um but this is not um it was a it was a good game it was a solid game uh, and I think, really, guys, it was a tech demo. If you remember, Uncharted 1... Now, I'm not saying it was as good as Uncharted 1. Don't get me wrong here, guys. But Uncharted 1 was kind of just that, a tech demo. It didn't really have that deep of a story. It was kind of funny and, you know, all that sort of stuff. I loved Uncharted 1, uh, but certainly out of the three, it was the weakest. Um, 
what do I want to see from Knack 2? Uh, slightly better graphics. I think, you know, it wasn't a, it was a pretty looking game, but I want it to look, you know, more, you know, I want it to look like Ratchet and Clank that's coming out soon. Have you seen that game, guys? If you've seen the trailer? Yeah, I want it to look like that. I want them to sort out the, the, the fighting mechanics a little bit more, um, have a little better story, a little bit more in depth, a uh, little bit better story. That would be awesome. And for God's sake, I know this may only, this may only, you know, me, OCD, whatever you want to call it, but sort out the trophy list because that's one of the most confusing trophy lists I've ever seen. I don't know what to do. I am not attempting to platinum that. To be fair, I did say that about Drive Club. Um, I never thought I'd platinum that game and I platinum that today. Um, but I definitely have to read like a, a list on that. I may try and do it before... Uh, uh, what's it c comes out but it's just a confusing list let's make it simple beat the game on hard get all the collectibles and uh yeah or even like i guess beat the game with a second controller or something i don't know if you want to have co-op in it but make this just make the trophy simpler guys i see i, I was reading um street fighter 5's trophies why is it i mean this is going on to a rant video i need to get up to the other bit but they put like three paragraphs in there for one trophy i'm like what the hell do you want me to do just tell me what you want me to do i don't see why all games aren't if it's an online game play this amount of games get this amount of kills beat it on hard uh, and get all the collectibles that should be it um or like uncharted try all the the online modes Beat it on the hardest difficulty and then get all the, the, the collectibles. Yeah, that's e you know, easy. Uncharted uh, on crushing is not easy. But um, yeah, that's just me, guys. I'm rambling. I'm, I'm annoyed. I'd, <laughs> when, when trophies annoy me, you know, I, I do have to speak about it. Now, this website, Young Health. Uh, I just saw this on um, someone linked it and um, I can't even remember. If I do remember you guys, I'll link you down below. Um... So this website um, published Crash Bandic Bandicoot PS4 release date in 2016 hinted. Game set to debut on E3 this June. I didn't know E3 was June. <laughs> I thought it was May. Um, so that's me looking an idiot. Um, but it says one of Sony's global accounts on Twitter has hinted at about a possible Crash Bandicoot revival because of an image posted on Sony's Middle East account of Crash in what seemed to be an outlaw poster. If you haven't seen it, guys, it is pretty funny to see. I, I like the picture. Um, because of the speculation, it has set fans in a hopeful mood that the rumour would be true this time. It can be recalled that Sony already did uh, the teasing twice in the past years but no Crash Bandicoot return took place. The report added during a past interview with Telegraph uh, sometime, sometime in 2014 Sony's group CEO Andrew's House commented on the possibility of revival of the hit game. In concept it is something we've been thinking about and discussing and this is a shift for us, said House. We've started to say that maybe there isn't anything wrong with going back and looking at characters that people still talk about that were a big part of either their childhood or youth. I definitely wouldn't choose, I definitely wouldn't close the door, sorry, on that. No follow up tweet has been made as of the moment since sony's middle east account took the image to social media but fans of the long lost game have responded positively with the rumor user at side kicks tweeted in his account of the possibility of buying a ps4 in case crash bandicoot is rebooted another user at lady milk mac <laughs> um, even though of herself having psychic powers quote unquote had a dream about crash team racing and as of this morning there's going to be a crash bandicoot ps4 game am i psychic or am i psychic 
Um, end quote. If the comeback is real in the work, real sorry, really in the works right now, many fans would likely be genuinely ecstatic about the Crash Bandicoot reboot that the game hasn't returned in almost a decade now. So that was a long-winded one. I enjoyed reading it. Anything about Crash Bandicoot, you can guarantee, guys. You can guarantee I will be reading anything that comes with Crash Bandicoot. Uh, you just know it. You just know it, guys. Um, so, uh, <laughs> what do I think of this? Um, they say a lot. Well, Sony's teased it and we ain't seen anything yet. And I understand that. You know, it has been a long time since we've... Uh, um seen the uh the game you know i mean it it really has uh and even the games that we have seen they haven't been very good guys i mean I i'm not disrespecting activision or anything because i want the ip to be bought by sony so if anyone's act watching activision you're great guys you know give sony the ip <laughs> do you know what i mean um so yeah i i want I want PlayStation to obviously buy the IP. If they can do, do, get your words out. If they can uh, tie up some exclusivities to the deal, that would be awesome. Um, if they don't own the IP, I think it's time to buy the IP. I think um, Activision aren't going to be focusing on that sort of thing. They really are focusing on their... Um, the Call of Duties, and of course you can understand that. Um, yeah, for me, it is a case of I, I, I do want Sony to buy the IP. Activision don't want to do anything with it. To be honest, guys, it wouldn't surprise me if it's already been done. It's already been verbally spoken or actually even signed, and they just haven't come out and said it because Sony's big about their their dates they they are and i don't know um if it's because of um a culture thing or whatever not, not anything disrespectful but you know different cultures uh, have different um sort of values and all that sort of stuff they may be like 15 20 years 25 years these are big dates let's wait until that we could have had this deal maybe sorted out in 2014 launch of the ps4 and they say let's wait until the 20th anniversary and make a big thing about it because guys they made it a big thing about uh, um the playstation 4 having its 20th anniversary in japan its first launch the year before and even this year they were showing off um it coming to the us and uk um sorry europe and everything this year with a 20th anniversary celebration so yeah they're big on this 20th anniversary. I think we'll see it. I think we'll see it. And I was discussing to a guy on uh, Twitter. I'll get his name, his uh, username. It is it's Infinity Games, but it's at Infinity Games 16. Cool dude. Um, I speak to him all the time on Twitter. Uh, he's a gamer, so he, he doesn't always have time and all that sort of stuff. Um, but um, yeah, cool dude. And... He was literally uh, saying to me, you know, how excited he is for Crash. And, you know, we were saying, you know, would you... I think, you know, a lot of PlayStation fans would buy a new console. Even if they've got one, buy a new Crash Bandicoot console. It would sell millions. It would sell millions, I think. It, it really would. Even if the game didn't sell that well, there would be people, the old PlayStation fans, who would maybe jump on board with this and be uh, really happy um that it's coming back i know i'd be over the moon don't get me wrong i love uncharted i love um the last of us i love uh jack and daxter and all these great playstation owned ips crash bandicoot was the best naughty dogs crash bandicoot was even better but crash bandicoot really got me into gaming so if that can come back in any sort of way and we were saying you know maybe a bit jokingly tongue-in-cheek but hopefully <laughs> they could create a new studio because they said that they're open to a new studio so let me know what you think of this idea guys again rumor absolutely no one else has said it but this is my idea follow me down this rabbit hole okay guys um so sony buys the ip to um 
that they're open to you know new first party studios um so that that's a hint you know that they're open to it um a lot of people were saying you know oh they could buy this that and the third and that'd be awesome if they could buy new studios but that doesn't mean that they are it could be that they make internal studios um so what i'd love to see is yeah a a part of their studio that maybe brings a few of the crash bandicoot guys back a few of the the jack and daxter guys back a few of the um maybe even sly cooper guys and um all that that type of you know I'm trying to describe do you know what i mean like platformer slash cartoony type of game i think there's a big market for that guys i, I really do you know uh, especially i can go by the uk numbers you look at how much games like minecraft and lego dimensions and lego marvel avengers and lego this and lego that all these games sell millions worldwide and now lego is a big franchise but even kids games you know because they're so few of them you know we have a lot of halos and uncharted's and well not those but, but you know what i mean Th those types of games call of duties battlefields and all that we don't have as many uh kid like games um and not of high quality so you imagine mark cerny sean layden and also some other guys who who used to work at playstation on uh crash and uh, Jack and Daxter and Sly Cooper and all these people who may have left to do other things. Maybe pick up a few guys who, who used to work at Rare, um, if you remember them. Uh, Rare, who did like Banjo-Kazooie and all that. They're uh, independent developers. Maybe scout a few of them and make the best of like kids' games. Uh, not See, the thing is, it's, it's difficult saying that because you play Jack and Daxter and there's definitely an adult theme to it. There's an adult sort of theme to it but it's like that tongue-in-cheek like jokey uh, fun um adult humor it's not like uncharted or last of us smashing someone's head off a brick or whatever it's it's more of a rude in innuendos and all that sort of stuff guys and, and i i loved that back in the day you know with crash you know you know <laughs> if you remember the first crash bandicoot when he you know runs up to the warthog and you know turns back round, you know the winks at the camera and all that uh no sorry he raised his eyebrows didn't he at the camera oh it's been a little while guys um what would i like to see in crash bandicoot because obviously I, i've noticed the time 17 45 <laughs> on talking an age what would i like to see guys well i'd like to fully remake the game you know make it explorable do what they did with ratchet and clank um but like on a bigger scale because obviously it'd be like the ps1 game completely remake the franchise i don't want to speak in character i really don't i don't want um you know the character come out and he's like you know some bloody idiot just <laughs> going on i like the the simplicity of having a silent character because the facial expressions were more important and they were more funny to me they, they built more of a personality in the character in my opinion so that's what i'd love but i'd also like a section uh separate like a separate game it's not in the game i don't like when you blend online and single player together i like uncharted where i've got my single player i'll play through that i'll beat it on crushing sooner or later not like mlg Pro no we get through that slowly guys uh get all the collectibles get that then platinum the game and then just have a ton of fun online what I want is that exact same experience, but in this Crash Bandicoot game, and then add in uh, Crash Team Racing. That was an amazing game. I remember playing that um, on my own. I suck at racing games, but I remember always playing on the PS1 with um, Crash Team Racing, and just imagine you have every single character that's ever been in a crash game in this 1080p 60 fps online and you can race with your friends in private lobbies you can race uh you know with a mixture of multiplayer and single player that would be crazy guys i would love that and any but anything i'd take you know the ps2 one game just put on the ps4 at this point uh even without trophies that's how that's how much i want crash and you know me with trophies guys um but i'm rambling now guys uh as you should expect in my videos uh let me know guys do you think um agree with me do you want to see crash come back uh are you excited like me
or are you a bit like on Push Square's side where you're like, I couldn't care either way about this game, uh, with Knack 2. Um, what do you want to see from Knack 2, guys? Uh, what could make Knack that next Jack and Daxter, that next um, Crash Bandicoot? And do you agree with me? It could be like this was a tech demo that kind of they just put out there to sell some software, and now that people kind of enjoyed it, will improve on the design and will make something better. That's what I hope will happen. Whether it will happen, who knows. Um, so I'm going to leave this video here, guys, and I'll catch you guys very soon.